Right, good evening folks. A little quick tutorial on taking a shot of the moon. It's a beautiful night in Johannesburg and we're going to run through a couple of settings and see how we can get some great shots. It's often a very difficult subject to shoot because of the fact that it is a very bright spot within a very dark background. So trying to get your exposure right is often a bit of a mess around and the camera can't really fathom what you're trying to shoot. All it sees is a lot of dark and one little bright spot and it sees all this black that it's trying to lift up and make brighter. So you're, generally the moon will tend to be blown out and not work so well. So the first thing we're going to do is take our exposure compensation and turn it all the way down to minus two, sometimes minus three, depending on how the exposure works. Now on the Sony's I get a direct visual of what's happening on the screen and I'll show you this shortly and it will then show me exactly what the exposure is going to look like. With the digital SLRs, the DSLRs, you will have to go in and actually take the photo, see what the exposure was like, and then try again until you get the right exposure. Right, so first let's position the camera right. The moon is constantly moving. So we're gonna focus, make sure that we got good focus and I'm now going to go to my exposure compensation turn that all the way down till it looks good to me which is great around three I can check my histogram I can see that nothing's clipping on the side here but again if you look at the histogram you can see everything's to the left because of the black and there's almost nothing there's just a white little speck on the side that, ha that shows that the moon is there so we're at minus three I'm set in shutter priority to make sure my shutter speed is fast enough and because of the lens I have a 100, 400, uh, 4.5 to 5.6 Sony lens on here which is zoomed out fully. If I had more lens I would definitely use it. I could crop this in which would allow me to zoom in but I can do that also on the computer which I would prefer to do. I prefer to do any cropping on the computer itself. So. I've also put on an auto timer so it'll beep off a little bit this way I get to step back and there's no movement of the camera that I need to worry about at all. It takes three shots just as an insurance and we can look at the photo zoom in and you can see a very pretty moon. I probably could go down a little bit and make it a little darker we'll do that quickly and drop that down even more let's go to minus four and focus, make sure we got it, and wait for the timer to go off. And we'll zoom in on that again, and you can see there we have quite a nice shot of the moon that you can see on the back of the screen. So that's all it takes to capture the moon. Remember to put your camera into shutter priority, ensure that you're working with your exposure compensation and drop it right down, starting at about minus two and working your way down to make sure that the moon is not too bright and that you can see the craters on the moon. Now that we've captured the image in camera, let's go back to the office and work it in Lightroom. Alright, so the first point we start at is sorting out the color of the moon. Uh, change the temperature down to cool it down a little bring it up a little bit more to make it a little bit warmer uh, next thing I'll do is I'm going to play with the dehazing which is going to bring the blacks out and add as a contrast adder and add some clarity to the image and just to make sure that the contrast is right I'm bringing down the blacks and the shadows a little and that's pretty much all I would do to that done <laughs> 